WebRTC is a free open source protocol that lets you live stream peer to peer through a web browser. But if you want an easy way to broadcast that same stream to multiple destinations using adaptive bitrate HLS, Wireless Streaming Cloud is the solution. In a Wireless Streaming Cloud account, we'll start by adding a new live stream. Name it appropriately, and then select a location closest to where you're broadcasting from. Next, we'll select our encoder. This will be other WebRTC. Leave everything else as default as the stream type needs to be adaptive bitrate and closed captions are not an option. Neither are available for WebRTC. We'll click next through all the other options and go straight to finish. Many of these settings can be edited later through the available tabs. Now for testing, we'll need to start the live stream. For this test, you will need a WebRTC stream, so you can download our WebRTC HTML example from GitHub using the URL shown below. Once the zip file is extracted, open the index.html file from the publish folder in a web browser or on a hosted server with encryption. You'll also need to allow microphone as well as camera access. Back in Wowza Streaming Cloud, we'll scroll down and copy the STP URL, application name, and stream name from the overview page. Once this information has been added to your WebRTC HTML example, you can hit Publish. Returning back to Wowza Streaming Cloud, you'll see a thumbnail under the Overview tab along with health monitoring statistics. If you scroll down to the playback URL at the bottom, you can copy the information provided, go into a application such as VLC Player, and test the playback stream. That's it for converting a WebRTC stream to adaptive bitrate HLS. Don't forget to stop the stream in Wowza Streaming Cloud and the WebRTC HTML example when you're done. Thanks for watching and happy streaming.